All right, everybody. Welcome. I am trying really hard to get to 1,000 subs. That's definitely like my next goal um, with all of this. So there's a lot of ways that you can engage with the channel and get notified as to when new videos are coming up. Some of those ways are Facebook and Twitter and also Discord. And then if you want to donate because you like the content and want to keep seeing more, there's also PayPal. But that's kind of the idea of getting to a thousand subs. Um, but I just want to thank everybody for watching. And if you are really enjoying this content, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And that's pretty much it. So let's get on to today's video. All right, welcome to a new game. Sorry, I got to turn it down for myself. It's really loud in my ears. This is the Full Metal Alchemist game for PlayStation 2. This is one of my favorite shows um, of all time. I owned these games as a kid um, because I love these games, these the show so much. Like it's one of the few animes that I've actually finished watching all the way through. The original and Brotherhood. I have a I have a Full Metal Alchemist tattoo. All this stuff so we're gonna be playing this game because it's amazing there were actually a bunch of them for PlayStation 2 so maybe I'll make it a series and maybe we'll play through all of them man gains nothing without sacrifice to gain something an equivalent price must be paid this is alchemy's law of equivalent exchange Edward Elric a young prodigy who became a state alchemist at the age of 12. He is now 15 years old. His alias Full Metal derives from the fact that his right arm and left leg are metallic artificial limbs known as Automail. Alphonse Elric. Edward's youngest brother, younger brother, inside the giant suit of armor is a 14-year-old boy with a gentle heart. Only his soul occupies the suit of armor. He no longer has a physical body. In their youth, the Elric brothers attempted to re revive their deceased mother through alchemy. The results were tragic. As the price for attempting the forbidden act of human transmutation, Ed lost his, Ed lost his left leg, Al lost his entire body. Ed sacrificed his right arm and succeeded in transmuting Al's soul, binding it into a nearby suit of armor. But their mother never came back, and the price they paid was far too great. In order to regain their bodies and return all to its previous state, the Elric brothers started on a journey to find the legendary Philosopher's Stone. I just realized I plugged in the wrong controller. I plugged in my old controller, but it should work. It should work just fine for now. When I do my next recording session, I'll plug in the, the better one. This one has some sticky buttons. Really just one sticky button. I don't know if there's subtitles yet. I will change the options if there are not. But I think they got all the original voice actors for this too, which is amazing. And then I think in the second one they just voice act all the lines too. Ah, aren't we at Central yet? Watching all those boring trees go by makes me want to strangle something. <laughs> You've been bored ever since we reached Rizumbul, Ed. Me, I think it's nice to take a break from going after the Philosopher's Stone, don't you? A break? I'm gonna break something if this boring train ride doesn't end soon. Here we go again. Ah, what a disgrace. Have you no patience, Edward Elric? Once we reach the junction at Heisgart Central, is a stone's throw away. Huh? Heisgart? So we're near that old place. Brings back memories, huh, Ed? Yeah, now that you mention it. Oh, so you two have been to Heisgarp before, eh? Yes, our master had brought us there just once, a few years ago. I think we'd gone to see this guy named Wilhelm. 
He was quite an alchemist, just like our master. I'm remembering it now. The professor had a daughter named Celine, and she was an alchemist too. She was as old as us, but her skills were like a grown-up's. Oh, is that so? A genius girl alchemist, eh? Genius, yeah, but cold-hearted. I mean, we were so nice to her the whole time we were there. But when the time came for us to go back to Dublith, she didn't even come out to send us off. Oh yeah, huh. Well, she probably wasn't feeling well enough to... Well, maybe it just hurt too much to say goodbye to you strapping young lads. I wonder if she's still studying. I'll bet she's a great alchemist by now. Crash! What was that? An explosion? <laughs> I love this game. We have assumed control of this train. People's Eastern Revolution Front sounds like a bunch of names cut and pasted together. I certainly haven't heard of it. Uh, I'll bet it's another new radical group. Jeez, what is this world coming to? I gotta get more deep and gravelly with my Aren't you going to do Armstrong. Uh, why do I have to? <laughs> I love Armstrong. Such a good character. That means you can take those guys all by yourself, right, Major? <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> I want that to be my thumbnail for this. <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> you heard the announcement, This train's now under the control of the Eastern Liberation Federation. I guess they've changed their name since the announcement. I just can't take this anymore. Hey, wait, weren't we just in a situation like this? Yeah, we were. Yeah. Someone must have put a curse on us. Hey, you and the Shorty. Who gave you permission to chat? This is how it always Shut goes. They call him Short. This is perfect. Okay, you, take the goods from the muscle man in the armor, then get your butt over here, Shorty. Who are you calling Shorty? <laughs> you, of course. Who the heck else is there, you Shorty? He hates being called Short. You calling me the tennis book of world record tennis Shorty? Mm, impressive, Edward Elric. And <laughs> mm. Nice. It's almost like sitting here watching the anime with you guys. Except this part is not in the anime at all. It's a completely new storyline, which is awesome. Maybe he's a fan of yours. Very funny. All right, Major. You go check out the cars in the back and find out what that explosion was. Don't worry about it. I'm already on it. Looks like we've got alchemists among us. Yep. So everybody watch your backs, okay? <laughs> mm, I know it too well. Well then. Mm. Let's get going. Let's go! Let's go! And here we start the game. Almost ten minutes in. Okay, Al, let's do this like last time. You go from below while I take the rooftop. Yeah, gotcha. Be careful, alright? Alright. Movement and camera controls, left analog stick, moving climb, X is jump, right analog stick, move camera, L1 reset camera, L2 switch map display. The controls displayed here are the default settings and may be reset by the pause menu. Alright, so everything seems to be set up. Um, text speed fast, vibration off, sound. Okay, so there's no subtitles. But. Okay, so I can't go that way. There are, like, items and such that you can get. That's attack. That's alchemy. Train rooftop. Yeah, so it's definitely, like, an action RPG. Like, you level up and stuff after beating guys. Alright, train hoppers. Time to deboard. Face first. Basic attacks. Combos. Press square at the end of a combo to create a powerful AccuStrike. Yeah, so you can 
like learn new combos and stuff. There's like alchemy combos and such. Oh, and I got an elixir. I think that's for health. And you can increase your damage and stuff later. From like your regular attacks and your alchemy. I'm pretty sure I just put everything into attack power. Jeez, one after another, what a pain. Well then, I'll just have to use alchemy to finish him off. Using alchemy, press circle for rock, hold circle for stone spike. Rock blocker shield you from enemy attacks, you can also jump or climb on top of rock blocks to reach higher areas. That's something I have to remember, because you can get to some secrets and stuff. Yeah, and that does a lot of damage, but it takes so long to to charge, and my regular combo does just as much, if not more, damage. Ow. Alright, so jump down here. Freight car. And then you can do stuff with Al, too. Freight car, huh? Hmm, what do we have here? Transmuting weapons. When you hold down circle to power up the alchemy gauge, you will see circles around objects you can transmute. Go circle outside the circle to use alchemy. Oh, I can make a spear. Oh yeah, the weapons are cool in this. I'm standing near a weapon, press triangle to equip. You can drop it. Um, you can use stone spike and strikes with transmuted weapons. Square, circle, square, square. Okay, that's the one I'm going to use. Square, circle, square, square. Because that one's going to be the fastest. We can open these. I don't remember how, though. Yeah. How do I... Oops. Oh, square. Okay. I, yeah, I like the spear because you can use the first attack to um, hit enemies that you've already knocked over. Yeah, so I like to check for items and such. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a lot to do with the R buttons, but maybe that'll come later. Maybe that's how you do stuff with Al, is the R buttons. Because it's my R2 button that's really stuck on this controller. Aha! There they are! Let's see what I can whip up here. Oh yeah, and you can make turrets. I love making turrets in this game. Uh, climb on, fire weapon... Just take them out really quick. Then you can get off. And it still has some ammo left, so I can use it again. Thank you. Oh, more guys. Okay. Thank you. Oh, and you get um, equipment and stuff, too. I forgot about that. There we go. Oh, they don't have much defense at all, do they? Alright, level up. When you level up, you can allocate bonus points you gain to Ed and Al's attributes. In the pause menu, select bonus points to either Ed or Al. Alright, so bonus points, Edward, and you can put them into really anything. Um, I don't really need vitality if I increase my defense a little bit, so I'll increase my defense. Oh, I only have two points, so I'll increase my defense and my attack. Um, and I can equip accessories, because I got some from that one guy, Lead Bangle, which increases my attack by one. So there's a good... a good boost to some of our stats there. Oh, and there's Al! Al, any of them left back there? Thanks to you, I think they're all KO'd. Yep, yep, leave it to me. Let's get... let's go get the rest of them. Now Al comes with us. Coach car. You know, Ed, you always go diving in by yourself, but cooperation is key in battle, I guess. I didn't read it. Giving commands to Al. 
When Al is far away, R1 to call for Al. When Al is close by, R1 to tackle. At any time, hold R1 to guard Ed. Okay. So, good. It's R1. Nice. Look at that. Huge attack increase. Even one... Um, Yeah, if you press X when you land, he recovers. Yeah, great job, Al. And we both get the experience, even if one of us is the only one that really kills him. Oh, yep, and it sends us back because there's an item, lead plate, which might do defense. And I have elixirs, so I'm not too worried about my health at this point. But yeah, there can be lots of hidden items later, the maps get bigger, the train is just kind of like the tutorial level. But I love, love, love this game. And the next one. The second one's just as good, if not better. They really stay consistent with everything. Hey, Al. Yeah, Ed? You think I could transmute this into a weapon for you to use? Yep, so I can transmute Al weapons, too. Transmuted weapon types. Circle to display the circles. I'll show icons for available weapon types. Red weapons for Ed. Blue weapons for Al. Green weapons for both. Yeah, here we go, Al. You get a spear, too. And then... Ooh, big guy. Okay. Ooh, he's got lots of defense. I should have equipped that bangle thing. There we go. So if they have good physical defense, alchemy might do more damage to them. Equip herb. Alright, so let's go to our accessories, because we did get that lead plate. Which increases my defense by one, which is awesome. Those are the two most important stats in this game. And he does kind of lock on to enemies as long as you're facing the right way when you start attacking them. Looks are small. Al, come on. We're going to the next car. Bump, bump. Bump, bump. What do we have here? Let's do this one. Jump on. Alright, somebody leveled up. I didn't see who. Because Al can level up too. Should I go up on the roof this time? Come on, someone who's as big as you would fall right through the roof. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> uh. Yep, go on, Al. It's alright, I got it from here. They drop some items. I'm gonna go see if there's any items over here. Can't go through that door. See? Items. Yeah, that was Alphonse that leveled up. Does he have bonus points? I think he does. Oh, but he distributes them himself. Train rooftop. Yeah, still more of them. Were we the only non hijackers aboard or something? Dodge moves. Left analog stick plus R2. There's, there's the R2. And I do need that because that's like how I get around later in the game. Good. Thank you. Oh, not again. Break falling. Oh, I've already done that a few times. Easy as pie. Because you can, like, charge up the alchemy when you're moving up to 
enemies. And this has a lot of like new game plus options, which I love. Like if you play it again, you um you end up getting like a ton of or maybe it's L2 that's stuck. I already have that. That's a save point up there. Save points, either square or circle, in order to save and recover your health. Alright, so we're gonna save, and I'm gonna leave this here. Um, we'll finish up the train in the next one, so thanks for watching. I'll see you then.